intimidation game, Roy Jones, which I think at this point has little or no effect on Jermaine Taylor. No, I don't think that he's the middleweight champion of the world. No, I think he definitely believes it. In recent weeks, for the second time in his career, Bernard Hopkins parted. feel like he can fight just as well with or without Boyd because he's been doing it for so long, you know? I mean, Bernard's 40 years old. Taylor yet. Bernard still seems to want to pace himself. Knight fires a right over the top, and Taylor is Jermaine even more reluctant to risk something now as the result of what he experienced in the last four rounds of the first fight. They trade left hooks. Taylor does more damage. Taylor threatening Hopkins and getting in a little right hand. Harold Letterman has divided the first two rounds. Need to prove here more so than Bernard Hopkins, so he will be forced to push the issue. Midway through the third round. Hopkins bikini, nervous, and ultimately exhausted from... He can help. Taylor is starting to look much more comfortable, much like the first several rounds in the first fight. When simply by, by the judges, you gotta watch it close, guys. And that's all there is. Dab there that gave him a chance to try an overhand right. He almost hit Hopkins on the back of the head. Now Hopkins has this assignment for the second time in a row. And there's a couple of good jabs by Taylor. And a but it's very easy for Bernard to set him up with a big shot. In this round, he's landed six out of 16 jabs. You know, Floyd, he's starting to warm up a little bit, but he's starting to be able to see the difference. It's about the timing and the space. Good shot. There's a straight right hand by Hopkins, his best. Bernard Hopkins. Taylor a little uncertain of himself as hot so far for Bernard Hopkins. A hit, and but he lands a hit. He needs to change the angle. Jab lands again for Taylor. Oh, quick punches inside that. Straight right hand lands for Taylor and Taylor. Our judge, Harold Letterman, had given the three pre preceding rounds to Taylor. Letterman gave that round to Taylor, too. He's so anxious and he tries so hard to punch so hard until it's much easier for Bernard Hopkins to see the punches coming. Hopkins gets it from that right well, hand. Well, he has a spot of blood on the ridge of his big punch. And that's what Hopkins is waiting for. That could happen. There's this. Tactical fight. The kind of fight Hopkins has been winning routinely. He's a better athlete, but his skill level still has a long ways to go. Sure. Technically, into the seventh, Harold. How do you have it? <laughs> okay, Jim. Five rounds to one. 59, 55. Very strange, Jim. Bernard Hopkins, when he throws in that chip. Beautiful straight right hand again. And Larry, Harold, the reason he's ducking after the punch, trying to keep his chin down after he throws a big punch. Even fight. Good left hook by Hopkins. In the tempo of the fight. Right now. Thank you. Certainly hasn't dug himself. A big hole. right hand by Hopkins Fine lands, out. and Taylor retaliates with the right hand of his own. Very impatient and very anxious to learn to land something. That was a good job. Three jabs for Taylor, four jabs. Good left hook, Taylor. A little bit lower, and that would have been a dangerous right hand by Bernard Hopkins. Good left hook, assisted several times after the last fight. Taylor, for his part, said, what forms power in their arc? It's the punch that travels six inches that might hurt you. This is the point in the first. He do range more. I think he has Jermaine Taylor waiting on him more. Well, he's been fighting very confidently right now. However, hard right hand by Taylor. But every once in a while, Taylor erupts and lands a one-two. Well, I think he is frustrated, but... Uh, Hard right hand by Hopkins. He of landing one punch at a time. He doesn't double any... His side. As he landed a quick little right hand there. Tries to... Straight right hand. Left jab, land... Right hand landed for Taylor. And another one. Taylor's off to a great start in round 11. Big left hook. Hey, Taylor... Being more relaxed is into the late stage. Dominated the 11th round. <laughs> big left hook for Hopkins. Fitz and Bernard Hopkins caught him. Holding it in. Now shot. Taylor feels like he needs already won the fight on Harold Letterman's scorecard, barring a knockout. Swollen shot. That's from Hopkins' right hand and maybe from a butter two. A few months by Hopkins' political campaign.
Big right hand for... Another right hand for Taylor. Chases up over the course of the last seven rounds. Straight right hand lands. I want to watch this again. Because a person that truly understands boxing can understand this Good entire Good combination fight. for Taylor. Big statement of the fight was made by the champion. But that explains why we need to see it again. Is that, is that because you don't want anybody to win a fight of that? Morales fight was maybe a little questionable in terms of the margin. Jermaine, bad intentions, 